Welcome back to Turkish North Cyprus. Today I'm riding to the ancient city of Salamis on the east coast of Cyprus. Wish me luck! Do you see those tanks out there? Full on. Never have I been in a region with such geopolitical tension. This is quite something. It's my first time being in a country that's not recognized by the international community. It's kind of weird though, because while you're here, it just seems so normal. It's a normal country, it's here existing, it has its own culture, separate from Turkey. Its own Cypriot identity. It's like the international community is just like wants to pressure it into ceasing to exist, which you know is never gonna happen. It's been here for 50 years. It's like everyone's in denial or something. It's weird. This place is just existing here. Turkish army here though. North Cyprus government wants them here, but the rest of the world sees them as an occupying force. What is going on around here? There's just soldiers, these red helmeted soldiers with machine guns posted everywhere. There's something going on. Some big exercise. Merhaba. taking this shit real serious. You know, it really hit home the other day. I typed S into Google Maps and the very first thing it said was Syria, 519 kilometers away. I was like, what? Okay, Syria it is. Nice. I hope people don't mind me making my travel vlogs. Coming back up to the main highway here. Gazi Magusha. Adana kebab. Here it says. <laughs> you serious? This is the way? Sure. Sure, Google Maps, thanks. Entering this village, we got a bridge. An old church over there. An abandoned Greek Orthodox church. Turn right. Dog, black and tan dog. Hey, black and tan. Oh no. 
Alright, exiting that village. Didn't see a single person. Oh, I better turn here, do I? I see a whole bunch of sheep ahead of this tractor. follow this tractor for two kilometers. Nice. Back out in front. Got another reasonably sized village up ahead. It's a guinea fowl up here. And an abandoned church. Let's take a closer look. Wow. Look at those grape bunches carved into the wall. shit on these stairs. This would almost be a nice place to stealth camp if not for these mountains of pigeon crap everywhere. Other than that, it's got great vibes. Let's check out this other chapel. Mass Exodus.
dank. Murataga. She Hitler Museum. Mass grave. Jesus. Martyrs Museum, okay. So that's what she Hitler means. Martyr. Good to know. Oh yeah, I get it. She Hitler kinda sounds like Shahada which means martyrdom, so yeah. Another mass grave. I guess we're approaching the UN peacekeeping zone, the boundary of the 1974 conquest. So yeah, I can understand there'd be mass graves around here. Ataturk. In Turkey, there's this petrol station called Petrol Ofisi, but here in Cyprus, it's called K Pet Kibris Petrol, I assume. It's got the same logo. Pretty cool. Only 3Ks from Salamis. abandoned Greek Orthodox Church. They're everywhere around here. Okay, ancient Salamis is just down the end of this road. I'm even starting to see some ruins over there. Made it to ancient Salamis. That was quite a long ride. Made it just before they closed too. What an amazing apps up there. Was this a bathhouse then? Does seem kind of bathy. What's through here? Oh yeah, this was definitely a bathhouse. see this coastal saltwater erosion on these ancient rocks. Ooh. Check out that mosaic up there. Well, let's see some more hypercost. Incredible. Heated floors. These are very nice ruins. Oh wow. How ancient is this fresco? Seriously. This looks like it's 2000 years old. Man, maybe Byzantine era, 1500 years, but that's huge.
Hmm. Octagonal pool. <laughs> this ancient tiling is incredible. This place is strangely well preserved. This honestly looks original. I don't think this is a replica. Oh wow, this is really something. All these old statues situated around this bath. Something tells me this one might be a replica. It looks like it's made of plaster. This one's made of marble. Freaky man. Some spolia pillar use in there. Now there's an ancient tile if I've ever seen one. How beautiful. some sort of drainage channel here. This city was the capital of Cyprus until it was destroyed by the Arab Caliphate in the 7th century AD. And then the capital shifted to Nicosia, which was inland and not coastal like this city, which made it less susceptible to raids. All the coastal cities were very commonly raided There's the theater over there. Let's go check it out.
Hello. Oh, where are you? These are some beautiful columns. I love the way they widen in the middle. So finely made. All from one single piece of marble too. These ruins are in an interesting state and overgrowth. It's not too much, but it's a really good amount. Makes them seem extra abandoned. I like it. Such nice big slabs of marble on the floor here. And I really like the way the patterns are all patched up irregularly around. There's no one big continuous design everywhere. They just put whatever pattern they liked, wherever they liked. Oh, what a nice capital. Oh, mosquitoes. This is truly amazing. Like, real post-apocalypse here. I'm really liking these compound umbral peduncles all over the place. 